we'll take a look at round number one. This, a lot of people thought, finally consolidated all the heavyweights finally and to make one champion. We're going to take a look at that fight when we come back. Everything that Tyson does is intimidating. I want to tell you the electricity in this crowd is awesome. Everything will be taken care of, I'm sure. Of. I'm just looking forward to taking care of Mr. Spinks. Perhaps he'll run or try to give me some cute move, be awkward, but I'm prepared for everything. I trained for seven weeks and I had the most awkwardest sparring partners. And what can I say, I'm just ready to go. Mike Spinks is now into the area where the crowd can't see him. Mike Spinks makes his way as the crowd touches him. He has more of a look of concern on his face as he makes his way to the ring. Remember, this guy is making some $13 million for this appearance. Countries all over the world, Sweden, Norway, Finland, and Scandinavia, England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, Germany, Italy, Spain, all over Europe watching. I can't count the number of countries in Africa that are watching us. And we're so pleased to have Australia and New Zealand. All to see this. Michael Spinks makes his way into the ring. 31. Oh, oh, with 21 knockouts. The former IBF heavyweight champion. This heavy metal sound that you hear is Mike Tyson about to make his way in, I believe. The sound is deafening here in the arena, so I won't try to yell over it. All I can say is the heavyweight champion is about to make his appearance in the ring. Obviously, Mike Tyson behind that crowd coming in. It's interesting to note that Mike Tyson selected his pre-fight music, just noise. Every once in a while, you hear the clanging of chains. I think that's what he's got in mind to do to uh, Mike Spinks' head, but we'll wait and see. Everything that Tyson does is intimidating. There he is. He comes out. He doesn't wear a coat in. He's worked up a full sweat. I want to tell you, the electricity in this crowd is awesome. I haven't felt like this since it was about 4 o'clock in the morning one morning. We're in a place called Kinshasa Zaire when Muhammad Ali came in against George Foreman for the heavyweight championship of the world. That was in 1974. There have been other great sporting events. But I want to tell you, I've got goose pimples on my arms watching this event, and a lot of people in here do. Mike Tyson surrounded by security, his handlers as he comes in. Of course, he left Kevin Rooney in his corner. Steve Lott, you know all the history. You've been reading about it for the past several weeks. The heavyweight champion of the world comes into the ring. This is why we're here. Tyson looks the way he always does when he walks in. He's here strictly for business. He's got that scornful look on his face. Hey, let's get it going. In a while, you see him push the leather back on his gloves. It's like he wants to get his knuckles closer to the leather so he can get them on somebody's uh, face, namely Mike Spinks in a hurry. Let's go to our ring announcer, Michael Buffer. Mr. Donald Trump's Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino on the Boardwalk in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Tonight, Don King Productions presents World Championship Boxing. This belt is presented with the approval of the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. Boxing Commissioner, Larry Hazard. Chairman, Jerry Gormley. Deputy Commissioners, Nick D. Balistrari and Lawrence Wallace. 
It is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation. At ringside, President Robert W. Lee. The ringside supervisor, Bill Brennan. The World Boxing Council is represented by President Jose Suleiman. And representative of that organization, Dr. Elias Ganon. The World Boxing Association. Its president, Gilberto Mendoza, at ringside, along with James Jenkins, Esquire Legal Counsel, and Championship Committee Chairman, Dr. Elias M. Cordova. The three judges for this contest, John Stewart, Eva Shane, and Rocky Castellani. Chief ringside physician, Dr. Frank B. Dogan. Also at ringside, Dr. Stanley Eden and Dr. Charles Wilson. The timekeeper, Roosevelt Gilbert. And counting for the knockdown seconds, Joe Cortez. And the referee is Frank Cappuccino. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, two special introductions. First, in the ring at this time, the gentleman responsible for bringing this spectacular event to Atlantic City. And I would like him to be properly acknowledged. He's a man whose success in business epitomizes the American dream. The author of the year's best-selling book, The Art of the Deal, his vision and accomplishment make him the quintessential entrepreneur, ladies and gentlemen. New Jersey thanks him, our host, for this great evening of championship boxing, Mr. Donald J. Trump. And another gentleman in the ring. In 1960, an Olympic gold medal winner. In 1964, the heavyweight championship. 10 years later, again, the world heavyweight champion. And in 1979, he won it an unprecedented third time. Perhaps he is the greatest of all time, ladies and gentlemen, the former three-time heavyweight champion of the world, Mohammed Ali. And now, Ladies and gentlemen, once and for all, let's get ready to rumble 12 rounds for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with black trim, and weighing in at 212 and one quarter pounds. He's originally from St. Louis, Missouri, now lives in Wilmington, Delaware. This. Olympic gold medal champion has a professional record of 31 victories without a loss, 21 by knockout. He is the former undisputed and undefeated light heavyweight champion of the world and the only king of that division ever to win the heavyweight title in the history of boxing. Because he never lost that title in the ring, he is still recognized by many, including Boxing Illustrated and Ring Magazine, as the heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated man who brings the jigs, Michael Speed. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks and weighing 218 and one quarter pounds, originally from the streets of Brooklyn. He passed through the hometown of the late great trainer of champions, Customato, Catskill, New York, and he now lives in North New Jersey. His professional record, 34 consecutive victories with 30 knockouts, including 26 KOs in five rounds or less, and 15 in the first round alone. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the undisputed This crowd is ready for it. Bob Sheridan here on the Don King Sports and Entertainment Network. As Frank Cappuccino calls him in, let's We're listen. Both giving your instructions in the dressing room. Are there any questions by either of you? All right, both of you touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. Millions and millions of dollars on the line. Billions of people literally around the world watching this fight. Hope you're enjoying it. 
Mike Tyson ready to go against Michael Spinks at stake the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. This is a 12 round fight. This is the only guy who many people think have an opportunity to do something against Iron Mike Tyson. Tyson dressed in his black trunks, no socks, no real flashiness to anything but his boxing. Michael Spinks, on the other hand, dressed in his uh, white trunks with the black trim, the white shoes, and we're just about ready to go. The opening bell, let's see what happens. Tyson attacks immediately, cuts off the ring, throws the wild right hand. This is round one, we're just underway. Spinks not able to hold him off so far with a jab. He tries to come back at him, but Tyson walks right through it. Tyson showing no fear, no respect at all here in round one. And Michael Spinks has to hang on for the first time in the fight. Frank Cappuccino has to separate the two. Absolutely no fear and no respect by Tyson for any jabs or anything that Mike Spinks can do. Tyson just looking for the opportunity to land a vicious left hook and then a right hand. While well, Michael Spinks was successful against Larry Holmes, an aging Larry Holmes, and he was successful against the guy that hadn't fought in a long time in Jerry Cooney, the right hand lands to the head of Mike Spinks. It's Tyson all the way here in round number one. Vicious shots to the body. Nothing really heavy landing yet, but he's taking them. The uppercut. Body shot. Down goes. Mike Spinks for the first time. The count is up to four and five and six and seven and eight. That was a body shot that took him down. Here comes Mike Spinks in. He leaves with the right hand. Down he goes. I don't think you get up from this. Mike Spinks is laying flat on his back. The count is up to five and six and seven and eight. He won't be able to do it. It's all over. Mike Tyson has won it. Spinks almost fell back throw. A dramatic first round knockout for Mike Tyson. Unbelievable strike. It came in the first round. And the timer tells me 131 of the first round. One of the fastest knockouts in heavyweight history. It came at 131 of the first round. Mike Spinks was knocked cold. It happened right in front of us. I looked. Just had a body fly over us here. We just had a body fly over us here. It's a little wild in the ring right now. The security threw up uh, some people right over us. We had a body flying over our heads here at ringside. Unbelievable. I want to tell you that I have never seen uh, in a long, long while a guy taken out so viciously. Mike Spinks just did not have a chance against Mike Tyson. Michael Tyson just absolutely attacked him. Watch this. He bangs him right back. And you see them counting for the knockdown. A different angle of it. Bang, he nails him with a right hand. It puts him right back. And you see the eyes are wide open right there. And at that stage, I was standing almost right on top of him. Here it is, bang, it's a left hook. And that's all there is to it. That angle shows you exactly what it was. The man couldn't move. Just sprawled right out. There was no question when he went down. And now the question is, who in this world has any chance against this man? Frank Bruno has to be totally intimidated. Look at the leg quivering there. This guy is the strongest, most intimidating fighter since Sonny List.